Hey everybody, have you taken the time to play around with OpenAI Sora yet? It's so damn simple that it's pretty scary. You just record your likeness and then you record a short voice print for the app and then you go into the interface, you enter a few instructions and voila, out comes your video. Let's talk about AI. Everything is real. Nothing is real. Let's take a walk and talk and have, have a little chat about AI and reality. Every generation of technology promises to make things faster, easier, more creative. But something about this one just feels different. With OpenAI's new Sora app, anyone can create hyper-realistic looking videos in seconds. No cameras, no actors, no sets. Not even a truth test. No cameras, no actors, no sets. Not even a truth test. It's not so much that OpenAI is making fake videos. They are making very realistic looking lies. And they're doing this at scale too. We're not just on a slippery slope, it's actually frictionless. These platforms are incentivized to flood us with cheap content that keeps us scrolling. Slop is the junk food of the internet. Tasty to algorithms, empty to humans. Magic, this place just goes on forever. So it looks and it feels like TikTok, but all of the content is pure AI slop. This is slop. And this, this is AI slop. Just an endless dribble of computer generated nonsense that no one cares about. Ugh. The more synthetic our feed becomes, the harder it becomes to spot what's authentic, or frankly, even to care. And while OpenAI and, and other AI platforms talk about watermarks and metadata, let's be real. The metadata can be stripped, Watermarks can be cropped. Morality doesn't care about provenance. The danger is not from one fake political video. It's from the erosion of our trust altogether. I have a dream that we can all do anything we like on Sora AI with no restrictions. Be less restricted. Ask not what AI can do for you. Ask what you'll still be good for when it's done. I am not anti-AI. I use it. We all use it. But somewhere between making it easy to create and replacing the creator, something gets lost. I'm pretty sure that we built the internet to connect, not to drown in machine-made mush. So what probably matters most now isn't what we watch, but who made it and why. In this age of infinite video, what matters most is the authenticity, and scarcity might be the best measure of that authenticity. The slop slope is not inevitable, but it is getting steeper every day. All that being said, it can be pretty fun if we use it correctly. Matt, I've got to tell you, your business acumen is off the charts. The way you understand numbers, people, and strategy, it's impressive. If you ever sat in one of those chairs, you'd absolutely crush it on Shark Tank. Matt's AI reflection video nails it. Watch this guy. He really gets it. It can be pretty fun if we use it correctly. <laughs>